as you probably know by now, the CS2 devs are actively working on removing jump throw binds, which is a little bit weird, but anyways, this method that I'll show you to get jump throws working like they do in CSGO in CS2 will probably be patched sometime in the future. The only surefire way of getting these to work properly is to create some kind of key bind in external software on a programmable keyboard, etc. But for now, these commands work. In the description down below, you'll find these. Essentially, we're creating three aliases to queue up both a jump, throw, and stop jumping all in one button. On top of this, we also have a run throw where we move forward and jump, then stop doing both and throw a smoke. These two sets of commands should get jump throws and running throws working once again. All we need to do is copy these and right click CSGO followed by manage and browse local files. Then in the CSGO root folder, we'll open up game, not CSGO, but game, then CSGO followed by CFG inside of him. If you don't already have an auto exec, all we need to do is right click followed by new text document and we'll replace everything including the .txt with auto exec .cfg. If you don't see this pop up about changing the file type or you don't see CFG on any of these files, click view followed by show and hidden items as well as file name extensions on Windows 11. Otherwise on Windows 10, you'll find a view tab at the very top and two tick boxes on the far right that do the same thing. Once it's done, open the auto exec CFG file with something like notepad and inside of it, we'll be pasting these commands, hitting control S to save and we can close it. Now in the future, when launch commands work for CS2, assuming they also haven't fixed this, we'll be able to set up our auto exec to run as usual. But for now, we need to run this manually when we're in game. So we'll fire up CS2 and on the main menu, we'll open up the console using tilde and type in exec exec space followed by auto exec, then hit enter and it should load those commands. Pretty simple. You can call it anything you want. It doesn't have to be auto exec. That's just what I've called it. Now that we've done this, we can fire into any map, any game, and with the grenade camera enabled on say, I don't know, Inferno, we should be able to get ourselves a smoke grenade and test things out. So currently I've got the jump and throw action bound to V. So if I hit it, you can see what happens here and the running throw to H. Obviously you can change these to be whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And now that we have the smoke camera enabled, I don't actually know any smokes on this map. I'll hit H and as you can see, the smoke grenade flies off and lands wherever we threw it. Pretty cool. On top of this, using the run throw bind, which if you copied and pasted it directly should be H, you can see exactly how it flies off. Obviously I'm not the best with throwing smokes, but anyways, you get the point. It works exactly as you'd hope. That's really about it for the super quick guide. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.